Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is time for another Throwback Thursday. This time it is going to be for March. If you haven't seen one of these videos from me before, these are basically a shop by stash style of video, just condensed a little bit down. And in case you are new here, since I know I have a lot of new subscribers since I last did this video, first of all, welcome. I hope that you'll stick around and I hope that you like what you see and definitely leave any video requests that you have down below. I would love to hear what you'd like to see from me. But this series was inspired by Kelly Gooch. She does not do this on her channel anymore. She does more of a just full shop my stash, but I really liked this style of it. I just liked the idea of a smaller shop my stash and I sort of unofficially do shop my stash um, throughout the month, but this has me focus on certain products. Usually I keep it to five just because I feel like that's a good number. That's what she did. Um, but like I said, I do definitely cycle through other things in my collection. I have a project pan for the entire year. So I have those products that always stay in a bin next to my vanity. The products that I add in for my Throwback Thursdays go in that bin. But I also kind of add in some other products, whether it's new things that I wanna make sure and try or just something that I wanna remind myself to use. So first I'm going to go through the products that I had for the month of February, and then we will talk about the ones that I'm going to add in for the month of March. Sometimes I do roll things over if I feel like I didn't use them quite enough. I'm not rolling over anything from last month because I feel like I've used them quite a bit and I'm definitely ready to move on from them. So let's jump right in. I actually am wearing everything on my face that I had in my February throwback Thursday. So that was kind of nice. I, I made sure to do that. So the first thing is a palette and it's the Masquerade Mini Palette by Juvia's Place. In case you haven't seen this one before, this is what it looks like. It has a nice combination of colors and neutrals. I made sure to try, obviously, besides today, I really wanted to try and force myself to use these two bottom rows because I feel like whenever I pull out this palette, I pull it out knowing that I wanna play with some color. And so then a lot of these shades down here just don't get used a lot and they're beautiful. I mean, they're definitely, you know, your typical warm shades. They're not like super unique, but they're beautiful. They're super nice, you know? So I wanted to make sure and use them. And I definitely feel like I did that. Um, you know, there were a couple times where I did, you know, a super warm brown eye on top, but then I added a pop of color on the bottom. So that's kind of a nice thing about this palette. You know, as far as the colors, they're beautiful, but you only have one colorful matte. It's this one. That's the one that I have in my crease. And as you can see, even though it looks more like a purple, it really is just a pink on your eyes. So that's fine, but you just don't have a lot of options as far as colorful mattes. Now, of course you can combine this with something else, but if you're just sticking to this palette, because of course you can, it, it can be an all-in-one type of palette. Um, you only have one colorful matte in there. On my eyes today, of course, I put that in my crease. I deepened it up a little bit with this brown shade right there just to try and deepen it up. But, you know, it, you just don't have really anything to go off of. Um, and then on my lid, I put um, I put a little bit of the blue chi and then going into Makeda. Um, and then on top, I'll show you what I put on in a second because I topped it off with a glitter shadow. Uh, and then on my lower lash line, I just buffed out that pink <laughs> um, and kept it kind of simple. But then on my inner corners, I put a little bit of Zola and topped it off with Giza to brighten it up a little bit there. I thought I did a really good job with this palette. I'm glad that I played with it a little bit more, but I am totally ready to move on with it. And um, I will say that I, I do often add in palettes, but I've been doing something different with my palettes lately. And so I don't wanna do a palette again. Um, so basically I mentioned this on my Instagram and if you don't follow me, I'll put my name up on the screen here. But I was talking about in my story how I've been trying to make an effort to use more of my eyeshadow palettes on a regular basis and really cycle through them. And I have an eyeshadow palette that's in my project pan, so of course I keep that in my bin. I have an eyeshadow duo that's in my project, so that stays in there. And then of course there would be something from my Throwback Thursday videos. Now, I think it's a good opportunity to add in, you know, singles and things like that, and I've definitely been doing that. But as far as palettes, I don't know, I haven't really been super inspired and thrilled about using one palette throughout the whole month other than just my, you know, my Project Pan palette. So what I've been doing, this is sort of a tangent, but it's just something that I wanted to mention. Um, and I think for me, it was really helpful. It may be helpful to you. I think it's more helpful if you have a large collection of eyeshadows. I think if you don't, then it maybe won't be 
um, something that would be helpful to you. But I've been taking a few different palettes, as many as I feel like I want, and placing them in the bin. Remember, I keep a bin next to my vanity, and I can just kind of see it. You know, it's it sits over to the side here, but I can see it, and I can see what I need to use. And so I put a few different palettes in there, and as soon as I use it once, I take it out, I put it right back into my collection, and I replace it with something else. So instead of using a palette over the course of a month or even a week, I'm just letting myself use it once and then put it back and put something else in. And then of course I can go back to that one again. But that way I'm really cycling through and I'm forcing myself to use something different basically every single time I do my makeup. And that's been really fun for me. And it's been like, you know, inspiring me to use palettes that I haven't used in a long time. I mentioned the other day I used the ABH Artist palette, which is an, you know, an older limited edition palette that I haven't used in such a long time. And it was, you know, so good to use it. It was fun to use it, but it also felt really good. It makes me feel like I'm really using my stuff and really cycling through it pretty regularly. And I've been just having a lot of fun with it and I feel great about it. So I wanted to let you know that. And if maybe some of you want to try that as well, then there you go. That's what I've been doing. So I'm not going to add in another palette for next month. I am going to add in uh, one single, uh, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So the next product is the thing that I topped um, on there and you can see it's still transferred a little bit up into my crease I, I put a glitter glue down always to try and avoid that happening but it just always happens so I think the glitter glue helps but it's not like a complete solution anyway this is the Urban Decay I think these are like their moon dust shadows if I'm not mistaken this one is in the shade Solstice and it's one of those beautiful like shifty you know like blue purple kind of like shadow and it's basically like a glitter top coat I mean you can certainly build this up but it's really kind of a topper and it's gorgeous. Um, do you need it? Not necessarily because a lot of palettes have shadows like this one. They may not be exactly like this one, but a lot of palettes have a shadow like that. I think it's gorgeous and I love to kind of top something off with it. You know, you can see it, you know, that it has some opacity, but it still lets you see what's going on underneath. And it's just a fun little pop of something special. So it was fun to play with that one this month and I'm glad that I got a little bit more use out of it than I had before. I've mentioned that a lot of my singles in general just get kind of forgotten because I just, it's easy to just grab a palette, you know? Um, so these Throwback Thursdays are a great way for me to add some of those in so that I remember to use them more. So the blush that is on my face is from my Throwback Thursday this last month. It is the Clinique uh, berry pop cheek pop blush these blushes are beautiful they're pretty inexpensive as far as like a high-end blush goes but they're a fabulous formula they're not like super powdery so there's no kick up but they're very pigmented and I'm sure it's not showing up as strongly on camera as it is in person but um, you have to be really light-handed with this one it is very very pigmented you'll see uh I mean, it's beautiful. I felt like this worked really well with a lot of my like wintry type of looks. It just sort of livened up the cheeks a little bit and gave me that almost like natural like flush that you'd get from being cold and outside, but not having to actually go outside. Speaking of which, it's super cold outside and I, I'm wearing my, you can't see, but I'm wearing my Miami shirt today to try and convince myself that I'm warm. So, cause I wish I was in Miami. That's actually where I'm from. Uh, and I wish I was there right now. <laughs> But anyway, um, so that's what I have on my cheeks. The last two things that are in this month, this last month's Throwback Thursday are two lip products and I use them both today. I probably shouldn't have and I'm gonna take this off probably not too long because it's pretty uncomfortable. But anyway, the first one is this Pixie by Petra liquid lipstick in pastel petal and I love the color of this. It is just gorgeous and it has one of those awesome doe foot applicators that comes to a point so it makes it really really easy to apply the formula is super nice I think if you like matte liquid lipsticks and you don't mind drying ones then you will really like this I am I've mentioned this a couple times but I'm really not loving liquid lipsticks anymore I don't think that they look very flattering on my lips there are some that I can get away with I think more so than others and some that just look better on my lips than others and this one just isn't the greatest I think I'm definitely going to add it into my pile to see if any friends and family want it because it's really nice and the color is gorgeous and I think if you like liquid lipsticks then you would probably really like this one but if you're like me and you're like 
mm, I'm gonna be really picky with liquid lipsticks because they don't look the greatest on me. This one probably isn't for you. Um, it's definitely pretty drying. And I even like the Lime Crime ones that are pretty dry, but I feel like even those just, they just look better on my lips than that one did. I just didn't think that it really did me any favors. As I've gotten a little bit older and I'm sort of just realizing like, I've got raisiny lips, it just is what it is. I'm kind of embracing that uh, preference change. So anyway, so I tried to see if I could make this one work by putting a lipstick on top. And I will say this is probably not the lipstick to put on top because this is a little bit of a thicker lipstick. So it's kind of uncomfortable. Um, I mean, it worked because this is a great lipstick, but uh, I don't think that was really the best choice I could have made. Um, so this is the Bite Lipstick in Meringue, which is a gorgeous color. Like I said, it's what I have on top of that lipstick. They're a very similar color, so it's not like it really changed it that much. Maybe this was like a hair lighter, um, but this is such a beautiful lipstick, and I got a lot of good use out of this because I took it on the last trip that I went on. Um, so really, really awesome lipstick. I'm just gonna put that back into my collection. Let's talk about the products that I am adding in for the month of March. So the first one is one that I realize probably about halfway through the month is not really gonna be my style, but I wanna try and give myself a little more time to use it a little bit more. Um, so this is the Urban Decay Afterglow Blush in the shade Rapture, which is a perfect wintry blush. You know, it's that sort of deep, rosy, mauvey, plummy kind of shade that looks really pretty in the colder months. Um, this is not going to be a blush that I'm gonna wanna wear as I go a little bit more into spring, which hopefully will be soon. Officially, it's, you know, the March 20th, but you know, we don't know what the weather's going to be like. Uh, it's been very cold here in St. Louis. So I feel like, you know, mostly I'm going to want to wear this like the first couple weeks into March and not so much the last week or two of March. But I just figure if I can give myself just a little bit more time to use this, I think it'd be nice because this is, this is definitely like, I mean, I don't always stick to like the certain tones and colors for the seasons, but I often do. And so I like to try and do that. And so I feel like I'm just going to enjoy wearing this more while it's still cold. And so I wanna try and use it a little bit more through the rest of winter. All right, then I'm gonna add in a single shadow and I haven't used my ColourPop Super Shock shadows in a while because if you have been with me for a little bit, you'll know that I had a Super Shock shadow in my project pan for last year. It was the shade Sequin, which I did finally hit pan on that one, like at the very, very end of that project. And it was painful. Um, I really like these. And what's crazy is that they really don't have that much product compared to like powder, I, a lot of like powder single eyeshadows. They really don't. But it still was really hard to hit pan on one of these, harder than I really thought it was going to be. And I got real sick of that shadow, even though it was a beautiful, like, pinky like rose gold kind of shade that was very you know wearable like for every day for me I got very sick of that shadow and so I kind of like not on purpose but I definitely took a break from my super shock shadows <laughs> they're not really my favorite anyway but man that project made me real sick of them so I'm gonna finally like dip my toes back in so this one is the shade lace and it's a beautiful dark purple shimmer color. So not like an everyday kind of shadow and you know, I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of it, but I'm just thinking like if I can use it just two or three times at least like that, I would feel good about that. Um, I mean, it, it is beautiful. It's just not like a, you know, it's a dark, it's a dark shimmer. So, you know, I just need to kind of, I don't know. It's one of those that I don't pull for. It's kind of why I wanna add it in because I think then maybe I'd use it a little bit more if I like had it in my throwback Thursday. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> then I'm adding in a glitter. This is the Pixie by Petra Liquid Fairy Lights in Bare Brilliance. And this is a very easy type of shade that I can pretty much wear with anything. You know, it's just sort of like a bronzy kind of shade. That, and these are like not as opaque as the Stila ones. So I feel like it, you know, it's a good topper kind of shade. So if I want to add a little bit of sparkle to some kind of look, this will be a good one to pull for. And I just thought that would be fun. So we'll add that one in as well. And then I actually have two lip products, which is kind of crazy, I know. And they're not even that different of colors. I mean, they're different. They're definitely different. 
yeah, they're pretty different. So I'm adding these two in because I want to kind of figure out how I feel about them because I feel like this is a good way to try out lip products that I'm like, do I like this one still now that I'm not as much into liquid lipsticks? Um, or even just a bullet lipstick and just see, you know, like if it's one that I haven't used in a while, then I can see, you know, now that I've been getting more into bullet lipsticks again, is this one that I really love as much as, you know, some of the other bullet lipsticks that I've been enjoying. So I feel like this is a good way to try some of them out. So this one is the Miracle Matte Lip from Flower Beauty. And I remember wearing this for the first time and being very confused by it. It was a just a weird formula. It's like, was a very wet feeling formula. And it dried down, but I feel like it wasn't like super crazy matte, if I remembered correctly. So I just don't, like I've worn it since, but I just haven't been able to figure out how I feel about this one. And so I haven't pulled for it in a while. So this will be a good way for me to remember to use it so that I can figure out if I like it or not. I love her other lip products that I've tried, like some of just the regular like bullet lipsticks I really like and those, what was it called? It was like a duo. It has a lipstick on one end and then it has like a topper on the other side. Um, you know, it wasn't meant to be a gloss, which I think confused some people, but it was a really pretty lip topper. So those I really liked and she has nice lip liners, but I just need to figure out how I feel about this one because maybe I really like it. I used to not be a huge fan of the liquid lipsticks that didn't totally dry down and weren't totally transfer proof. But now that that's not my thing anymore, I might really like something like this. So I'm gonna give this one a try again for this month and see how I feel about it. The other one is the same thing. I don't really know how I feel about this one. And I feel like this is one that people have talked about being a more comfortable formula. So maybe it will be something that I will like. This is called the Healthy Lip from Physicians Formula. And this is the shade, bear with me. So they're both like nudie colors, but this one's obviously much more pink. Uh, so I feel like, you know, I'll be able to use both of them easily. This one has a nice, you know, pointed tip, just like the Pixie one. So we'll see, I'm gonna give these both a try and see how I feel about them. And then I can decide if I wanna keep them or not. All right, everyone, so that is it for this month's Throwback Thursday. Let me know in the comments below what you think about any of these products that I either used from last time or the ones that I just added in. Are some of them things that you really love or really hate? I would love to hear your feelings on them. Again, welcome to those of you who are new here. I hope that you will stick around. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. I post videos every single Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to stick around and I really hope to see you next time. Bye!